Okay, question number 11 from October 2017, C34, IAL. Question about integration by substitution. We have to show the integral of dh over 5 minus root h is equal to what's given here. Um, so let's get started. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to uh, rewrite it in a way where it looks more familiar to how we're used to seeing it. This is like saying 1 over 5, 1 over 5 minus the square root of h. So 1 over 5 minus the square root of h dh. Okay, and if I just make a little line here to separate my steps here. So basically, I'm going to say let y be 1 over 5 minus the square root of h. Okay, and we're supposed to use a substitution u equals 5 minus the square root of h. So we can say that basically uh, y is equal to 1 over u. Okay, now when I want to integrate something like this, so this is basically now going to become the integral of y with respect to h. That's what we have to do, integrate this thing with respect to h. But we've got to use the substitution here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put dh du du. That works out to be y dh, and they cancel out. But I'm going to now find what y is, okay, in terms of u, uh, because I have to integrate with respect to u, and find what dh du is in terms of u, and then I'll be able to continue. Okay, so that's what I'm going, that's, that's my plan here. So this is dh du. So y is 1 over u, so that's sorted out. I now got to find what dh du is in terms of u, okay. So we know that y, so u is 5 minus root h. So we can replace, so that, that's that part sorted out. So u is 5 minus the square root of h. Now the square root of h is like h to the power of a half. That's getting it ready for differentiation. Because I've got to find dh du. So what I'm going to do first, I'll find u, du dh. Okay, it's like the, the reciprocal of what I need. So d, du dh, well the 5 disappears. And you're going to have a half times minus h, which is minus a half h, and take one from the power, you get to the power of minus a half. Okay, if you simplify this, du dh, if you just simplify this a bit, um, you'll end up with this being in the denominator. So you have minus 1 over 2 times h to the power of a half, which is 2 times root h. Okay, so minus 1 over 2 root h, um, which, if I want to find, I need dh du, not du dh. So if I find the reciprocal of this, I just have to just, it will just become basically dh du, which is minus 2 root h. That's the reciprocal of that. Okay. So I now know what dh du is in terms of u, and I'm ready to start. So this is equal to the integral of y, which we've worked out in terms of u is 1 over u, times... And then we got dh du, which is minus 2 root h. Now, um, actually, I need to express this in terms of u. So this is the same as if I replace the h uh, with 5 minus u. If I rearrange this, if I rearrange this, okay, I'll get root h equals 5 minus u. Okay, just rearranging this equation here. Okay, so if I rearrange that, I'm going to get h equals 5 minus u, or root h equals 5 minus u. So this is minus 2 times 5 minus u. Okay, which I can write that as minus 10 plus 2u. Minus 10 plus 2u. Okay, so I can replace, I can write that as 2u minus 10, it makes it a bit neater. So dh du is 2u minus 10. So I can replace that with 2u minus 10. Okay, and that I have to integrate with respect to u. So now I'm ready to, almost ready to integrate. I've got replaced every, all the h's in terms of u. So the y was replaced by 1 over u. The dh du was replaced by 2u minus 10. Okay, and now I can just multiply through by 1 over u. So I'll have 1 over u times 2u, which is going to give me 2. I'll have 1 over u times minus 10, which is minus 10 over u. 
and that's what I have to integrate with respect to you. So we're almost there now. So integrating this with respect to you, okay, we're left with basically the integral of two is to you, okay, and the integral of, of minus 10 of u is minus 10 times the lin of the modulus of u, okay, when you have, you can't write this as 10 u to the power of minus a half. If you try to integrate that, you add one to the power becomes zero. Remember the integral of one over u is lin u. That's one of the results that we should know. Okay, we have to, maybe sometimes have to prove it even. Okay, but it's one you can just quote. You don't have to prove it every time you use it, only if they ask you to prove it. Okay, so that's lin u. Okay, and then you got plus a constant of integration, which I'm going to call c. Okay, so now um, we have to now replace the u's with what u is equal to. Now u is equal to 5 minus root h. Okay, so because in the end the answer has to be in terms of h. So you have 2 times and instead of u you're going to put 5 minus root h. So 5 minus the square root of h. Okay, and you have minus 10 times the lin of or the lin of the modulus of 5 minus root h minus the square root of h okay my handwriting is getting really bad now because of this thing is lagging behind 5 minus the square root of h okay and you got your plus c at the end okay so now let's simplify this you got 2 times 5 is 10 you got 2 times minus root h is minus 2 times root h. And you got, oops, this is a bit annoying here. 2 times root h, come on. Okay, and you got minus 10 times the lin of the modulus of 5 minus root h. Where's the square root of h? And you got your plus c. Okay, just separate this from that. Okay, now let's compare this to what we're supposed to show. Okay, um, now what you can see here, if I just copy what we're supposed to show, we're supposed to show it becomes this. I'll just copy it and put it down there so we can see. Oops. I'll just copy it. What's going on over here? Okay. All right. I'll copy this and put it down here. So we can see what we're supposed to, how we're supposed to show the answer. Okay, the answer should be in this form here. Okay. Now, what you can see is we've kind of got, we've got minus 10 root uh, 5 times minus root h, we got that. Okay, we got the minus 2 root h, and we got the 10, we got the, well, we got plus c, but we also got a 10 there. Now, what it means here, okay, there's no problem with this, this 10 and this c, we can say let k equals 10 plus c. It's just a constant, so it doesn't matter. If we let k equals 10 plus c, we can lump these together and call it k. So we're left with here, you've got minus 10 times the lin of, okay, now, they put it in brackets, I've put it in modulus sign, okay, now, we don't need the modulus sign because I know the value of 5 minus root h is not going to be 0 or negative, okay, um, you can, one second, you can't, you can, oh, it's never going to be negative. You can't have the lin of a negative number. Okay, so this is um, minus 10 times the lin of 5 minus root h minus 2 times root h. And we've got plus k now. Okay, why can I get rid of the modulus sign? Because of what they told us in the beginning of the question, that h is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 25, okay? So the biggest value h can be is less than five, 
Okay, so this can never, if the biggest value of h, uh, sorry, the biggest value of root h has to be less than 5, because if, the, if this cannot be 5, this value will always be, if this cannot be 25, sorry, this value is always going to be less than 5. So 5 minus something less than 5 is going to be 0. Okay, or it's going to be bigger than 0. So this will, ne this will never be the lin of a negative number. So, so we don't have to worry about having the modulus sign because this is always going to be positive. If it's always positive, you don't need the modulus sign. You only need the modulus sign if this ever is going to become negative. Because you can't have the lin of a negative number. It's undefined. So as we know that h can never be, uh, it, it never reaches 25. The maximum it gets to is just before 25. So you have 5 minus the square root of something, which will be always less than 5, so always be positive. Okay, that's why we don't have to worry about writing the modulus sign. And the k part is just the 10 plus the c together, that's all. Okay, so that's the answer to 11 part a, which is all about integration by substitution.